What's the difference between conflict resolution and conflict transformation? As you know, conflict resolution means challenging your adversary to a dance-off. Conflict resolution means working to address a particular problem between parties in conflict. But let's say it's successful. What happens if they continue fighting again and again? Conflict transformation looks at the issue people are fighting about, but it also looks deeper at the nature of the relationship between the groups. In the DRC, for example, there's been intermittent conflict for generations. An issue that really drives people to resort to violence may get resolved through an agreement, but there's another conflict about a similar issue just a few years after that. It's because people are really fighting against deeper structural problems like poverty and political exclusion that are thorny and difficult to solve. Conflict transformation was first articulated by one of my faves, John Paul Lederach, through his work as a mediator in Latin America. People weren't satisfied with just stopping the fight and resolving the issue because it didn't address the deeper problems that caused people to be in conflict in the first place. We call that negative peace. Check out the video on that one. Conflict transformation, in essence, is an effort to create peace that's rooted in justice. Because without that, it's not really peace. Two takeaways. First, we need to look at conflict differently. We need to not only look at what's the immediate problem that people are fighting about, but take a look at the deeper issues, the underlying causes that lead them into that problem in the first place. Second, conflict can be an opportunity. While it's the violent responses to conflict that's the true problem, conflict itself isn't necessarily bad. It's a chance to take a look at some of the deeper dynamics that's leading people into conflict and lead to a far more lasting peace in the long run. That's it. You've been served.